We're back in the realm of quick tweaks that can make a big difference to your playing. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Alongside publishing our books for brass players, we're releasing a bunch of videos with tips to make brass playing easier for you. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the Airflow Music channel so you're notified of all of our videos. Before we get started, returning viewers will notice that I'm not in my studio in New York City. I'm out on tour right now, actually recording this in my hotel room in San Francisco. So I apologize if the lighting or sound isn't quite up to par with the rest of the videos. On the plus side, I have more space around me than usual, so we can probably make use of that for this week's tips. On the downside, since it's a hotel room, I won't really be able to demonstrate very much, if at all. This video is part of the Trumpet A to Z series, something that can make a big difference to our sound, our intonation, and our overall ease of playing is the way we position our bodies. I'm all for making it as easy as possible, as you know. P is for posture. Whether sitting or standing to play a brass instrument, our posture can make or break our ability to breathe and support properly, have a clear resonant sound with good intonation, avoid unnecessary tension, and generally play easily. I already talked about the role of uh, hand and arm position in playing well in the earlier video H for hands, and now it's time to widen our focus to the whole body. As usual, any videos or links I reference in this video will appear in the cards up here if possible, or certainly in the description underneath this video on YouTube. Regardless of whether you're sitting or standing to play, the rule of thumb should be to sit or stand up straight. Doing so makes it easiest to breathe and support, and gives us the best chance to make our controlled exhalation as freely as possible. If you watched my earlier video B for breathing and any of it didn't make sense to you, Please watch these posture tips and then revisit it. I think you'll find it'll help. Let's look at standing first. We need to stand up straight with our feet about shoulder width apart and our head over our centre, and definitely not slouching. One important thing about standing to play is that you don't lock your knees. I tend to feel that my knees are very slightly bent and that my weight is on the balls of my feet. I'm not leaning my weight back into my heels. Also, notice that my feet are level. I don't have one forward of the other like this. I see many players who do this and they always seem to struggle with endurance and seem to be working harder to play. Our posture when sitting is just as important. Again, our head should be over our centre, but now our feet should be placed parallel once again and flat on the floor. Preferably, the chair we sit on should allow us to have our thighs parallel to the floor so our knees are bent at right angles, or, in other words, our knees are hopefully not much higher than the seat. This provides the most support and makes it easier to breathe. Obviously the chairs vary enormously at different places that we play. I'm about six feet tall, so this can occasionally be a problem for me. You'll always find me looking for a slightly taller chair, or even stacking more than one on top of each other, if the design permits it. When sitting, don't lean back in your chair. Either sit slightly forward, or if the design dictates it, sit against the back of the chair, but make sure that you sit up straight. This makes it easier to breathe, support properly, and apply core compression if playing in the upper register. Whether sitting or standing, there are a couple of other things to watch out for. Firstly, make sure to hold your trumpet up without leaning or pressing your arms into your chest. You'll notice that I play with a much more open posture in my upper body. Doing so keeps me from constricting my breathing and exhalation, and keeps tension to a minimum so I'm better able to play with a resonant sound, deriving that resonance in much the same way an opera singer would. The final thing I want to mention is getting your head position right when you play. Firstly, your head should be over your centre of gravity, so your neck has the chance to remain as relaxed as possible. Leaning your head forwards or backwards causes unnecessary tension, both in the neck itself and in your throat. It can be painful after playing for long periods, and it affects the quality of your sound and airflow. Equally, be careful not to drop your chin to your chest too much, or tip your head backwards too far. All of these things constrict your throat, which affects your ability to blow freely and adds tension, which affects the resonance of your sound and just plain feels uncomfortable. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about it or any other feedback about these videos, please comment below. Otherwise, please hit that like button, subscribe to the Airflow Music channel, and share this video with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. 
I'll be back on Monday with another exercise of the week, and again next Friday with more Trumpet A to Z. In the meantime, please visit airflowmusic.com and check out the various books, exercises and other merchandise we have on offer. All sales directly support making these videos. I'll see you on the next video. Now, go practice.